Good morning and good afternoon everyone and welcome to the Samsung Safe Forum 2020. Our feature presentation today, enabling next generation system on chip on Samsung Foundry with PCI Express 5, 6 and CXL 1.1, integrated PHY and control IP. My name is Stefano Adu, I'm CTO and product marketing at PLDA and I will be your presenter today. For the next 20 minutes or so, we're going to talk about the joint PLDA and AlphaWave integrated IP solution for PCI Express, C6, and Compute Express Link, specifically targeted at the Samsung Advanced Process Nodes. Since this presentation is pre-recorded, there is no live Q&A session, but feel free to contact us with your questions and we'll be happy to answer you directly. I will provide contact details at the end of the presentation. And now let's have a look at the agenda. We start with a refresher on PCI Express and protocols that are derived from PCI Express. Then we go over the entire protocol stack for each PCI Express based protocol. And we zoom in on the interface between the protocol controller and the PI and look at the different aspects of the pipe interface. We then introduce our collaboration with AlphaWave. We present the AlphaWave Phi offering specific to Samsung Advanced Process Nodes, and we follow on with an introduction to the PLDA controller offering. In the following section, we focus on the joint AlphaWave PLDA Phi Plus controller solution and the stringent verification and validation process in place to guarantee the quality and robustness of the joint solution. Finally, we give a quick overview of both companies, AlphaWave and PLDA, for those of you who are unfamiliar, and we conclude this presentation with a recap of the key takeaways. Let's get started. This table shows at a very high level the main characteristics of the different protocols which are all leveraging the PCI Express physical layer or PHY layer for short. This includes, of course, the newest revisions of PCI Express, today version 5.0, and version 6.0 due to arrive sometime in 2021. Then there is C6, cache coherent interface for accelerators, which expands the PCI Express protocol to add coherency support. The current C6 specification is version 1.1. And there is the newcomer CXL Compute Express Link, also currently at version 1.1. CXL adds two sub protocols to PCI Express CXL.cache for cache coherent access and CXL.mem for load store memory access. In terms of signal transmission, PCI Express 5, C6 1.1, and CXL 1.1 protocols all use NRZ encoding with a max signaling rate of 32 giga transfer per second, while PCI Express 6 will use PAM4 encoding with a max signaling rate of 64 giga transfer per second. Now let's take a close look at the protocol stack. Going from left to right, we have the PCI Express 5, which comprises the physical media attachment, PMA, and the physical coding sublayer, PCS. The PMA is pure analog and mixed signal and includes transceivers and PLLs, while the PCS is a digital logic that does the encoding, decoding, symbol alignment, and ultimately exposes a standardized pipe interface to the controller. On the controller side, from left to right, we have the Media Access Controller, or MAC, mainly responsible for link state management and common to all protocols, although each protocol requires some specific changes to the native PCI Express Mac. On top of the Mac is where protocol differentiation occurs. PCI Express and C6 share a common data link layer, while CXL adds the Arbiter and Multiplexer, or MUX for short, and specific data link layers for CXL cache and CXL mem sub protocols. 
Then we have the transaction layer, which is specific to each one of the protocols. And finally, the user interface layer, which is not defined in any specification, but nonetheless required to expose a usable interface for the application logic. That uh, user interface can be of any type, uh, proprietary interface defined by the controller IP vendor, uh, though the trend is to offer standardized, widely used and proven interfaces, such as this based on AMBA specifications. For example, AMBA AXI, CXS, or CHI. Now let's focus our attention on the pipe interface, which has become the de facto standard for interconnecting Phi IP and controller IP. It's easy to understand the benefit of having a standardized interface between Phi and controller. It is intended to decouple the protocol specific logic from the media attachment. The original Pipe version 1 specification, which dates back to 2003, was developed specifically for PCI Express files and controllers. But since version 4, the Pipe specification is defining new modes that move any file level PCI Express specific features to the controller side in order to support other protocols such as SATA, USB, and DisplayPort. The table here shows the various pipe modes and requirements. For PCI Express version 5 and 6, Phi and controller are required to support the low pin count interface mode, as well as the Certis architecture mode. Of course, if Phi and controller only supports one of these two modes, the integration is still possible as long as both controller and Phi support the same mode. Obviously, having a PCI Express or C6 or CXL controller that supports all four modes guarantees that this controller will be interoperable with any PCI Express Phi out there. And the same can be said for the Phi. Now, let's take a look at the specific connection between the AlphaWave Phi IP and the PLDA controller IP. The AlphaWave Phi and PLDA controller use the Certis Pipe architecture interface, which includes pipe transmit and receive signals for each lane to form up to a by 16 link. The interface also includes a pipe message bus and a Phi specific AMBA APB bus for PMA configuration and control. Let's now introduce the AlphaWave Phi. The AlphaWave Pipe Core family of Phi IP is a high performance, low power PCI Express Gen 1 to Gen 6, C6, and CXL Phi. It includes a hardened PMA layer and a soft PCS layer deliverable. AlphaWave's Pipe Core is based on the industry leading Pipe Core DSP architecture. The Pipe Core Phi is power and performance optimized for the strenuous challenges of PCI Express. AlphaWave Pipe Core 32 NRZ Phi for PCI Express 5 in Samsung 7 nanometer was a success, and AlphaWave is working on Pipe Core 64 PAM 4 Phi for PCI Express 6 on Samsung 5 nanometer, which should be available sometime in 2021. If we look at the performance of the Pipe Pipe Core Phi. The two plots show on die receiver eye diagrams for Pipe Core 32 and Pipe Core 64. Both significantly exceed PCI Express requirements for today's standard 32 gig NRZ, as well as next generation 64 gig PAM4. Now let's talk about the controller side. PLDA IP portfolio includes controllers for the latest PCI Express, C6, and CXL specifications. For each protocol, two versions of the controller are offered. A low gate count, latency optimized version with bare bone user interfaces. That's the products in the dark blue, blue color. And a system on chip optimized version with industry standard AMBA interfaces. That's the products in the light blue color. 
because the controllers are built entirely using synchronous digital logic, their implementation is agnostic to the particular process node and only requires standard cell libraries and a memory compiler for the target process. In the next section, we focus on verification and validation of the controller plus phi integrated solution. Let's have a look. Of course, it starts with a rigorous verification of the controller itself as a standalone IP. For that, we use a combination of commercially available verification IP and protocol test suites for PCI Express, C6, and CXL. Using multiple verification IP and test suites from different vendors allow much better verification coverage and accuracy, since each test suite can have its own interpretation of the specification and may focus on different aspects of the specification. The next step in the verification process involves integrating a software model of the PHY and focusing the verification on the physical layer. The AlphaWave PHY model is inserted in the test bench and verification test suites are run. It's worth mentioning that running simulations at the PHY level are orders of magnitude slower than running simulations at the pipe interface level. For that reason, PHY level verification is focused on PHY and MAC level protocol rules. This includes focusing for the most part on link training, low power and advanced low power modes, link rate changes, equalization, and meeting all of the pipe signaling rules. Now let's talk about hardware validation of the integrated AlphaWave and PLDA solution. We first validated the interoperability between the PLDA PCI Express controller and the AlphaWave Phi using a test chip plus FPGA setup. AlphaWave 7 nanometer test chip was connected to an FPGA with PLDA PCI Express controller IP inside. A one lane configuration was used due to the limited number of signals connecting the test chip to the FPGA. This setup was then exercised using commercial host platforms with PCI Express 4 support and further exercised at PCI Express 5 32 uh, gig speed using a protocol exerciser. The next step involves validating a complete SOC with both controller and PHY integrated on the same silicon die and supporting multiple lanes of PCI Express 5 at 32 gig. This is scheduled to start by the end of Q3 of this year. With the next two slides, I'd like to give a brief overview of the two companies that have uh, been discussed throughout this presentation. Let's start with AlphaWave. AlphaWave is a team of technology industry veterans and engineers with a nearly 20 year history of building successful silicon IP teams. AlphaWave was founded in 2017 and has already seen strong success and impact in delivering proven silicon in leading processes, including Samsung Advanced Process Nodes. AlphaWave has been profitable since day one and it is uh, investing heavily in existing and future products. This has already resulted in AlphaWave building one, one of the most technologically exciting and fastest growing businesses in the history of semiconductors. And now with PLDA. PLDA has been in the semiconductor IP licensing business since 1996 and profitable for as long. Always focused since day one on PCI interconnect and all the high speed protocols at the heart of modern computing systems. PLDA has hundreds of customers across the globe and across industry verticals and close to 500 customer tapeouts on a variety of foundries and process nodes, including Samsung Advanced Process Nodes. We have offices on three continents and are seeing tremendous commercial success with record growth over the past three years. PLE strives to remain the leading independent provider of high speed interface IP for years to come. And that brings us to conclude our presentation. PLDA offers robust 
feature rich PCI Express, C6, and CXL control IP for Samsung Foundry customers. AlphaWave offers differentiated, high performance Phi IP targeting Samsung leading edge process nodes. The PLD AlphaWave Controller Plus Phi Join solution provides unique value to Samsung Foundry customers for all PCI Express based protocols, including PCI Express, C6, and CXL. If you have follow-up questions or would like to know more about AlphaWave or PLDA products and services, please contact us and be sure to mention this Samsung Safe presentation in your communications. Thank you for watching.